Hello friends! Welcome back! Mark Piotr here. I am going to show you behind the scenes look at my new version of an old song, The Beat Goes On. Back in 1966, Carol Kay was the bass player on the session and she came up with that bass line that everybody remembers. <laughs> version of the song was a swing kind of a feel. The new version is straight eighth notes. Bump, 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 bump. The bass line is now like this. With a five string bass you can do this an octave lower. This is the first fill that you will hear in my version of the song on the bass guitar. But that's not all. In addition to the bass guitar, I added the keyboard bass, so it's a doubled effect. So here's what it sounds like when you put the two of them together. There are many keyboards in this song as well. One of the keyboard patches is called Filter Wow. Then, to add even more zip to that sound, there's a keyboard sound called Zip Lead. The entire song is nothing but one chord, the F sharp nine chord. So for one of the keyboard parts, I'm just playing the 5, 7, and 9 of the chord. Later on in the song, we take the same 5, 7, 9, and then I add on more extensions up higher. Another great keyboard sound in the song is called Ascent. So far in our song, we have two bass sounds, one MIDI and one electric bass. We have four keyboard sounds. What about the guitars? There are only two guitar sounds in this song, and one of them is the clean Telecaster. The opening chord is the F sharp 9 chord, but I'm trying to play it with only the top four strings. Later on, this same guitar plays the hook along with the keyboards. During verse 1 of the song, the clean Telecaster plays the F sharp 7 chord like this. Later on, in verse 2, the clean Telecaster will play an F sharp 9 chord this way. For the lead guitar on this song, I use this Ibanez with a locking tremolo. The sound of the lead guitar features the Boss ME70. For this song, I'm only using the overdrive set to fuzz, and I'm also using the ME70's wah pedal. Like the Telecaster, the lead guitar also gets to play the hook, but two octaves higher. <laughs> In the original Sonny and Cher version, they have a small horn section and they have an organ playing some licks. In my version of the song, this is replaced with the lead guitar. First we put the wah-wah all the way to its back position, like this, and then we leave it there for the first horn licks. Once 
one of the organ licks is modified by the electric guitar to sound like this. The most difficult guitar lick of the song is only heard a few times and it's kind of in the background. You kind of have to listen for it. What makes this lick a little difficult is using the tremolo bar to lower the low E string down to a low C sharp. Like that. It, it's a guess. All right, so if you can catch it in the song, the lick goes like this. Thank you very much for hanging in there with me. Behind the scenes with Professor P and the Otter Band, the beat goes on.